Good evening, everyone. Welcome to day four of Spirit Fair. I decided in light of how today's gone so far, I would go ahead and record this episode rather than live streaming it. So if I have to step away for any reason, you'll never know. Go ahead and jump on in here. So last time we were playing Spirit Fair, we said goodbye to our good friend Summer. Go ahead and see what we gotta do next. Something new! Francis says, it's your lucky day! Yes, you've said this for me many times, Francis. Thank you. What have you got for me today? Uh, I need iron ingots. I can turn that in. I don't have nebula fragments yet. I can turn that in. I can turn that in. Cool! Free money! Iron ingots. Do I have iron ore? I think I have iron ore. Let's find out. I won't be able to do that. Where did I move my forge to? There you are. I have one. Okay. No, I will not be doing that. Shink. Shink. And water use. I didn't mean to plant coffee, but okay. Guess we're getting coffee. Okay, I need to buy some more cotton seeds. got for me, buddy? Uh, nope. Cool. Worth it. Alright. The tool wants a desk. He wants fried chicken. I build an orchard. Head over to Bottom Line Corp. For Giovanni. And travel to Susan's Museum. Let's see where we are. I'm fairly certain we're close to Susan's museum after we... Oh, no, we're not yet. We're at the Everdoor. I guess the bottom line corp is probably actually going to be closer to me. Let's see what Giovanni wants. Hey -o. Go, take a look. They should have it here. Get the nicest chocolate box you see. No, not the cheap stuff. I got a brand new shipment recently. Things are looking up for old Theodore. Go ahead, take a look. Thousand glims. Holy shit. All right. Beautiful, Bambina. Ha <laughs> ha, I knew I could count on you. You're terrific, Bambina, you know that? Marvelous, exceptional, admirable. We don't deserve you. Nope, you especially. No one does. Okay, let's back up, guys. We don't deserve Stella one bit. You wonderful little peanut. All right, now give it to me, please. It's better be worth it. Uh, thank you. <laughs> yes, you'll love it so much. I'll hold on to it. Let's head back to the boat, Bambina. Definitely not hideous at all. Ray! Take that, you capitalist pig. Ooh, are you open now? Good 
Good morning. Yowza! Ha ha! That is one hell of a kicker! And shaking! Stimulants all the way, Bambina! Delicious and wakes you up for real. Okay. Interesting. Not his favorite food, but he enjoyed it. Good morning. Oh. You can't have such a strong stimulant. Those are real disorienting. I won't be able to sleep for days if I ingest oh. this. Good to know. That's Giovanni. Do what he wants. As I finish watering. Crunch. Peanut! Mm -hmm. I was thinking, and you know what? Just a chocolate box is not nearly enough for a lady of this caliber. But, mm -hmm. I know exactly what could complement this gift. A nice bouquet of flowers. Vibrant, luscious roses. Mm -hmm. Wait one second. You already have some roses? Marvelous! Haha, mm -hmm. -ha, that's just perfect, Bambina! What a nice bouquet! The thumb is as green as your hat, as someone once said. Uh, are you colorblind, sir? And you see, no one cared. No one noticed. Wasn't necessary to make such a big deal out of it, now was it? Now, if you could just give them to me, I'll take great care of them. Uh, I don't have anything to give you. Well... Interesting. Oh, I already gave him something today, so it's not going to let me give him the flowers right now. That's BS. Yes. <laughs> Bina, look at all these jewels. For you, Bambina. No, 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 no. No need to explain how. Shh. <laughs> Just take them. It's a gift. Uh, okay. Uh, sir, are you flirting with me? You do understand that I'm a minor, right? Here we be. Susan's museum discovered. All right, now to speak with this charlatan who stole his artwork. <laughs> oh, can I get there? I can. All right. Interesting. Oh, hi. Oh, great. Just fantastic. The spirit fair is here. On this godforsaken rock, in the middle of the ocean, she came all the way over here. She saw the cold, steep surface of the cliffside below with its broken ladder. She saw all that and thought, yes, how inviting. Surely I am welcomed here. Well, you found me. No use running from it anymore. Let me run the old tape for you. Ahem. <clears throat> Spirit Fair, whose name I don't know, nor do I care to know. I am the Collector, otherwise known as Susan. The gods and all the materialistic arrogance have played a cruel trick on me. You see, I am the Collector not by choice, but by duty. Through your ceaseless plunder of the world's very finite wonders. You will no doubt come to a stockpile, a collection of junk, to rival the greatest garbage dumps of history. My duty is to reward this unconscionable behavior with, well, more junk. What irony, is it not? My predecessors used to ask for the accumulated bundles as payment to do no who knows what with. But the job description says nothing about that, and I certainly have no interest in your filth. So when the time comes, show me what monstrous assortments you managed to put together. Grab your meaningless reward and leave. Quickly. And pick up after yourself. Wow. Rude. Hmm. What do you want? Get on with it already. Interesting. So I need 
two more figurines, bunch more fish, one more gem, bunch more materials, dishes. Okay, interesting. All right, what am I supposed to be doing with you? Get the missing wood print from the collector. Oh, okay. I need two more figurines. That gets me more clothes. Figurines. Alright, well, this is going to be a mystery quest. I'm going to have to just find my way around. Peanut, have I told you I opened a tavern? Working in sales wasn't my thing, and Astrid's mother said she wanted to help us, so I told myself, hey, sure, why not? It was a reputable establishment, something fancy. Not a drinking hole where people would come to forget about their lousy lives. So once a day, a climb So one day, a client comes in. Disheveled, obviously distraught, looking over his shoulder as if the dogs of Inferno were after him. He runs to the bar, grabs me by the collar, and tells me in a panic, 12 shots of your finest liquor. Before I even have the time to come back with the bill, he's almost through half of them. So I ask him, brother, what's going on with you? Why are you drinking so fast? To which he answers, if you had what I have, you would be drinking very fast too. Surprised and a bit scared, I flat out ask him, what in heavens do you have? He then stands up right away and tells me, only 50 cents, and dashes through the door. Well, Peanut, it's been 40 years, and I'm still laughing at this one. Alright. Oh. Can't get to that yet. Great. Alright, North Sea Pier discovered. See if there's anything here. I see a giant zip line, which means I probably can't do shit with this. Mm -hmm. Got that face. Larry Salzberg knows faces, and yours could be on a poster, mm -hmm. on a billboard. You're not talking, but I can imagine your voice, and I hate it. <laughs> but <laughs> we can fix that in post. We'll get one of those girls to dub everything. You'll be perfect. Mm. What? You're not an actress? Mm. You don't do vaudeville? You've never been with Siegfried? Nothing for those French shepherdesses or whatever it's called? Mm. It's impossible. You would have been perfect. But if that's true for your undiscovered talent. Mm. I must have you in my next picture. I must. I don't have a script nor a director, but that doesn't matter. Mm. It will be called something like Visions of Perfection. A thriller, murder, suspense, something to get the blood boiling, something to make the town talk. Talking about my new young star, it will be a box office smash. Can't you see it? Uh, sure. Knew I could count on just walking the streets. It'll be a star in no time or my la name isn't Larry Salzberg. Now we need to find you a co-star. My casting director is in her honeymoon with the new beau. Somewhere warm, it doesn't matter. What does it matter in... What does matter is this picture I just thought of in the last five minutes. I do need a cast of this picture with stars. Star power. This town is drier than my shirts on a clothesline in the summer. Let's see. Joan is filming that daughter-mother picture. Vivian is out of the question. Judy is off somewhere magical. We'll need to find someone with gumption. Gravitas. There's this veteran, Catherine, who would work. Apparently, she's been taking in nature recently. Somewhere on obscure canopy, I believe. Wait one second. I just had another idea. We could also go to the We could also go the demure naive route. Someone like Ingrid. She could also just she could also do justice to our new movie. She just bought a new place in Old Central District. You could go meet her there. Ah. So many possibilities. Casting movies, what a rush. Alright. I'll leave it to your capable hands. Find us a match. Someone that you think will pop on the screen. You say so, buddy. Everywhere in this place is locked. Some lunatic wakes me up all day. He jumps in the water screaming. He always says, oh, what is it? 
I'm the big fish man or something like that. He's so loud. It's not just the screaming, it's the thrashing in the water. Poor fellow doesn't seem to know how to swim. I should close my bedroom window. Maybe not. I came here for the ocean breeze. I came with the early bird swimmer. All right. Hi. Better be worth it. It was not worth it. The lighthouse seems to be broken. This is ominous. Neat, I guess. Quest. Well, before I go waltzing halfway across the map. Oh, bloody hell. Alright, I guess I'm going waltzing halfway across the map. You have aluminum. I need to talk to you. I bloody have aluminum. I already fought him, you idiot. Sir, I'm not feeling so hot right now. I've got a lot on my mind. I keep thinking about my friend Zazzy. Did you ever meet her? We used to organize rallies when we were younger. This picture of her and me is the only picture I have in my wallet. I've had it for over 40 years. Damn. Dang, how old am I? Your Aunt Viv would murder me if she knew I didn't have at least one picture of our kids. And she ordered... She adored Zaz. Everyone did. Maybe we should hang it in my house. We won't get rid of the folds, but at least that won't get water all over it. Here we are. Harishima Lighthouse. During the mantle's tie-dye phase. 
Alright, that's a little too expensive for my taste. Sorry, buddy. <laughs> Can't tell me what to do. So I should, I can't get that right now, it seems. I think that's what it's suggesting. Ooh. Hey! That's bullshit. Adventure guess that that's another barrier that I can't get through because I don't have the part that I need. Oh. Too dark. Too foggy. Alright, so I need the lantern for that. That one I figured. Resuteno Meadow. Keep wanting to say Retsuko. Gross.
there's someone that I'm supposed to be finding over here. Let's see who our friend's been lost at sea is. I have to jump exactly on the right flank to talk to you. This is stupid. The raft broke and I lost all my equipment. I was going to see my sister on. Wait. I don't even remember where. She lives in a nice little town full of people. There's rice patches, a shop, and a big monument. Oh, please, you need to help me. My sister would be able to draw you a map or something. Hurry, please. Ugawa. Lost at sea? He always does this. He always has an excuse. Last year it was a new girlfriend. The year before that was the bad economy. How can I be so sure you're not some strange person he paid to invent a story? He might be relaxing in the sun somewhere. Here, give him this if you're telling the truth. Hopefully that snaps him out of it. I sure do love venturing halfway across the map for a fucking fetch quest. No, Francis, just shut up and let me shop from you. Found your first treasure map. You might find something interesting from it. Look inside, you'll find coordinates for some treasure. Neat. Get a 58, negative 52. Simon, this young lady told me of your misfortunes. You must either be the most unlucky person in the world or you truly don't want to see your family. Enclosed is my address. Don't get lost this time. Your sister, Agatha. Dang, that's harsh. Pretty sure this was close to where he was too. Negative 58, negative 52. It's closer to me than that. Oh, you. Oh, wait. I actually can't get to that one. Oh, 
hello there. Oh, you're tired, aren't you? Of course, so many children are bound to leave you exhausted. Maybe we could play with them a bit, let you rest? What do you think, Stella? Wonderful! Oh, we'll have so much fun! I used to play this game with my grandchildren all the time. Just catch them and bring them back to their mommy. Oh, no. That's how I get nebula fibers, apparently. Oh, so I need oak and nebula threads. Don't know where to get ash planks. Treasure! Neat! More nebula fragments and bright jellies. All right. Exactly as I remember it. Oh, Stella, you've built an orchard. And it looks almost exactly as the one my husband built. Have you seen all these fine details? Yes, he was quite the woodworker. At least until his hands gave up on him. We planted our first apple tree along with the birth of our first daughter. You should plant a tree for yourself. Of course, it'll take some time before it can bear fruit. But once grown, it makes you so proud. It accom accompanies you your whole life. Oh, listen to me rambling again. Don't get out of your things now. Apple tree and cherry tree. Thank you. 
Can I sing to you? I can. Or underestimate the power of music. Actually, bright jellies. A lot of bright jellies. Oh, once a granny's impressed with how quick my trees grew. Incredible! Tree Stella, it grew so quickly. I'm sure the love you gave it helped tremendously. The laws of this world would allow it. Well, I'm glad the tree is fully grown now. I know you'll be able to build some great memories here. Stella, I've been doing some thinking. All my life, I've had to take care of others. Cooking, cleaning, taking care of the children. They're a blessing, really, but I've never had any time for... Excitement? Oh no. Adventure. I thought, if it's not too much of a hassle, of course. Since we're traveling all over, all of the time. Well, maybe you could come on a little trip with me. Just you and me. It'll be fun, I promise. How about that little hamlet? Nordweller, was it? From what I've heard, it sounds just like my Swedish romance novels. Oh, how I can devour these! Wait, you're also a fan? I knew you were a woman of culture. Anyway, if we're ever around these parts, I think we could have loads of fun. Nordweller. Alright. Okay, so I need marble and fire glow. I'll get spirit flower when I send off another person through the ever door. Pretty close to building the final size boat. And I'm headed my way to Simon. <laughs> yes. Oh, come on, Munchkin. I'm starving. Do something. Oh, she's getting cranky. I'm sorry. <laughs> Still come back, I need to feed everyone before someone gets eaten.
Cool. Thanks for the berries. <laughs> feed me! Damn, people get pissy when you don't feed them for a long time. Oh, carp's right. Uh, oh, mm, grains. Welcome. Okay, Granny. Who is in the archer? I'm sorry! You're outside. Look at that! You were able to find my sister in the village? That's incredible! Is she mad? Don't tell me. If I make it, I'm sure that it will be worth something at least. Thanks again. I'll probably be at the bottom of the ocean without you or my sister's help. Cool. I need bright jellies. Jellies for you. Fire glow. Can't do anything with you yet. Or you. We're all done. We're all done. We're all done. You also need bright jellies. Okay, so I have three things that need bright jellies. Wonderful. Uh, six. 18. Gross. Oh, your friend may Gwen might be gone, but these jellyfish sharks that symbol on her door is doing something. Might be the key to fight off these jellyfish. Yeah. Try it. Yes. I already figured that out, but thanks anyway. Anything else? I just need the bright jellies. See? Dang. You bastard!
I need more slate. Interesting. All right. Hello. Oh, Stella, thank you so much for bringing me here. Oh, smell the crisp winter air and these colors. Why, I feel like a young girl again. Oh, let's go already. I can't wait to see all the sights. <laughs> the sheep. Look at that! Is that an ancient wooden elevator cage? What a wonderful construction! I didn't think I'd ever see one with my own eyes. Remember? It's by climbing one of these that Ansgar... Ansgar, that's an interesting name, managed to get away from Harold's gang. A treacherous and icy cage that claimed many a young daredevil's life. But of course, Ansgar managed to escape with the Countess's sapphires with ease and grace. Yes, he was quite the cat burglar. Oh, look at me. I'm swooning just thinking about it. As for us, I think we should just climb the ladder. Watch out for ice patches. White leaves. Oh, and the statue here with the bushes ever white. Just as I pictured it. How uncanny! Doesn't it remind you of the shrine where Angsgar offered the sapphires to Agneta? I would have stolen a hundred gemstone and fought a thousand ruffians with the opportunity to gaze upon your beauty but for a second. Oh, how romantic! And then she confessed her love. And then they... Well, you know what happens next. Although in my mind it wasn't so cold outside. Well, Ainsgar sure was hot-blooded. I know that's how he makes me feel. Oh my. What kind of fanfics is she reading? This place. Oh, in this dark, windy spot. Just like the scaffolding where Ainsgar and Harold dueled. Oh, I can see the scene so clearly. The clacking of the swords, the distant barking of dogs and whistling of policemen. Even the smoke reminds me of the train station below. And then, glinting in the shadows, a small needle-like knife. And just as Ainsgar had adeptly disarmed his opponent, the treacherous Agnita emerges and stabs Ainsgar in the back. Oh, of course, how could Ainsgar know that she was the half-niece of the cruel Herald? The bleeding Ainsgar advances haphazardly to the edge of the scaffolding. And as he reaches the edge, he glances back and finds that he is cornered by his opponents. With nowhere to go, they know it's but a matter of time before they can deliver him to Duke Frederick, Ainsgar's long estranged twin brother and usurper of the family title. But Ainsgar, elegant to his last breath, raises a hand in farewell, smiles softly, and... Just as he engulfed by the smoke from the locomotive below. Ouch! Oh! What? Oh, Stella, no, I'm alright, thank you. I'm good, I'm good. Just... I'm a little tired. Let's go back home, okay? Just... Let's go. Aww. You get a hug. And I'll feed you. Okay, back home. I'm gonna take the express route. Uh, the treasure up there! Give me! Ah, water's cold. Ah! Oh. Huh. Do I need to wait for her? Yes. Yes, I do. So 
far. Ooh, wait up. I'm... Uh, I'm tired. Would you... Would you mind helping an old lady walk back to the tender? Aww. Okay. Stella, I wanted to have a word with you. We had some fun together with the trip and all, but I can't keep following you around like that. Just too tiring. Your idea. And besides, it's not befitting of an old lady like me. Just... Has anybody told you how smothering you can be? Please, leave me some space now, will you? Okay. That's bizarre. Can I talk to you? Mm -hmm. You might have noticed, but Alice... Well, she seems to have some trouble getting around, doesn't she? I don't think she can use ladders anymore. Mm -hmm. I'm not sure she'd tell you, but I think she's stuck up there. Maybe you could move her house down to the deck level? I'm sure that would help her. Aww. Okay. Eugene, where are you? Oh, hello, it's you. You're seeing Eugene. You must be in the garage again. When you see him, can you ask him to bring me my old woolly? It's getting a bit chilly in here. Aww. Full fabric. Oh. My legs! My old legs won't carry me anymore. Could you perhaps help me get to the prow?
Let's get her that whole prime fish that she wants. How many wolf thread do I have? Okay. Oh, hello, how are you? What is that? Blanket? For me? I used to have a woolen blanket I liked very much. I must have misplaced it. Well, thank you. That's very nice of you. Aww. Alright, and now we wait. so nice. Once my daughter Annie and I had a little outing to the seaside. It was such a nice day. Oh, there was a picture of that day in the envelope you found the other day. I've got it right here. Look at her outfit. Oh, it's so fashionable. Later that day, she lost her hat to a gust of wind, though. What a shame. Oh, are you ready to walk me back home? Yes. talk to you. I've baked some food for everyone, but it might be overdone. Sorry. Fisherman's pie. Cool. Can I talk to you again? No, I cannot. Oh, yes, I will do that. My old legs won't carry me anymore. Could you perhaps help me get to the prow? Of course. that some fruit in the orchard were ready. I picked them for you. Here you go. Oh. Sure, you just enjoy the view for a bit. Also cool. Also cool. Well, that's more than enough money. Sweet. Thanks, Francis. Go build a boat.
All right, Albert. Don't embarrass me this time. Don't embarrass yourself, rather. Oh no. You've got a beautiful orchard full of apples. You do know it lives and reads inside, don't you? Bookworms! <laughs> that doesn't make sense. I wish to upgrade my big ass boat. Jeez, that's huge. Oh, I need so much stuff for that last one. What's this place? Oh, who are you? Oh, no. What am I? Oh. Oh, sorry. I was distracted. I'm alright. I'm fine. Yes, yes, I'm sure. Just carry on with your day. Annie's lost hat. Who's Annie? How do I shake Alex out of her confusion? I know how. Excuse me. Oh, Annie, you've... Oh. I'm sorry, I mistook you for my daughter. You dressed exactly like her. Of course, the wind blew her hat away. When I find her, you should tell her where you found yours. I'm sure she'd like to find another one again. I'm sure it would look better than that unmatched red hat of hers. Oh, Annie, you've... Oh, oh okay, we're going through this again. A smashed red hat. Nope. We're playing dress up with Grandma. This feels wrong. Annie, there you are. I was scared. I thought that you had left. I'm feeling tired. We're on our way home, aren't we? Tell me when we're there. My stomach is turning. Bring Alice to the Everett door. Talk to her while Aaron worries. And he's out with a red hat. Okay, that's what I figured. What she meant by home. Letter from Peterama. Peterama CEO Alan Shipley. Dear Peterama customer, here at Peterama we strive to reach new heights in food preparation. That's why we have renewed your subscription to our delivery service. We will be sending you pre-made meals every week. The joy of food lives on. We wish you the best and hope you will enjoy our new marketing strategy. Hmm. All right. To the ever door. We're there, aren't we? Can we go now? All right then.
what a wonderful scenery. Did you find this place all by yourself, Annie? You've gone exploring earlier, haven't you? Always such an adventurer, you. I'm so proud of you. These trees are quite marvelous. Eugene would be so mad to have missed that. Perhaps he'll be able to take some time off next summer. Yes, let's return here. If I feel I could stay here forever. You haven't told me about school recently. Is everything still going well? And your grades, are they? Oh, of course. You graduated a long time ago. I'm sorry. I don't know how I got this confused. Tanny, are you? Yes, of course. I guess I have been rather forgetful lately. Maybe Eugene will... When you see your father, tell him about the trees, won't you? I'm sure he'll be excited to come with us next year. Well, I think that's a good time to leave off that episode. Hope you all have a great evening. Thanks for joining me.